Kebakaran. The chairman of this wonderful school and my own dear brother, I will stop at that. The principal and the teachers, and of course the students. But let me start by recognizing Your Royal Majesty. The emirs of Duse, Ijigawa State, the chairman of Labour Party, and my brother Julius, our foreign dignitaries, my brother Dr. Star, and all other dignitaries that are here. When I was invited by Ken, he did mention I was going to give the keynote speech. However, he didn't tell me that I was going to listen to the keynote speaker, Emmanuel. Because it's not the keynote speech. Mine is to add, just to add to what she said. It's been wonderful listening to this young one speak today. It's been wonderful listening to what's happening to the graduating students, especially those who are now going from secondary that are going to go into university. As you listen, we're almost like you, but you're better. Because listen to Young Miss Emedu today, I don't think we had the opportunity of being this smart. She was really smart. And she captured Nigeria and the essence of the problems of Nigeria. I've asked uh, my brother Ken to make sure I have that speech. For me, education is the most important thing any nation needs. In fact, it has been shown in various studies that what differentiates development and development is the education. It's the foundation. Even when you go and people tell you about measure of development being on Human Development Index. And I tell you, it is health, education, and the capital income. I'll tell you, of all these three, health is about education. If you don't have an educated society, you can't have a healthy society. You can't put people out of poverty. This morning as I was coming here, I met people who told me they work for development experts. So they are involved, and I said, which one? And they told me, I said, so where do you work? And they showed me everywhere they work. They're working all over Nigeria in 13 states. And I said to them, what do you think is the problem with insecurity in Nigeria? And when they tried to elucidate that to me, I said to them, it is simply hang on poverty. The more you put people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. 
And you can't do that unless you invest in education. The more people are educated, the more they are able to put themselves out of poverty. And that is critical. You can't have 20 million people. That's what the United Nations say. UNESCO said. That we have 18 to 20 million people living in poverty, in every out of school children. That's what they said. So we have 20 million people that are out of school children, and we are thinking of development tomorrow. We now have to invest in education. And when they say 20 million people, people will not understand it. But I can tell you that if you follow 2022 world population of countries, we are talking about population of Norway, population of Ireland, population of Singapore, and population of Dubai put together. If you put these foremost big successful countries, four of them together, their population is 19.7 million, and we have 20 million out of school. So we have more than population of these four thriving, respectable, developed countries put together out of school. So imagine what it will be if we invest in that. So investment in education is critical. We're not doing a lot today. Yes, I John, my respected Lord Majesty, to say that we will invest in public school. We will also invest in private school. Nigeria is a country that says they have universal basic education. And if you want to practice universal basic education, in its real time, what it says is that we have a budget for each child. And that budget, what we'll do is that if Pensetas is a private school, we will make sure that we we'll give Pensetas the budget we have for each child, their parents can add more. That is how you implement it. As a governor of Anambra State, I did not have anything called private school or public school. Because the children are not private. They remain the children, our own children. So when people tell me about private school, I say, well, it doesn't matter to me. When I equip secondary school with computer, when I bought courses for them, I gave it to private schools as well. I said, if you want, go and establish one. But they are educating our children. So for me, if I have opportunity, education will have the highest amount of in our budget. Because that is the way key. Our teachers will be celebrated. The most critical component of education are the teachers. They are the role models the children are looking at. They are the ones that mold their character. They are the ones that talk about discipline. They are the ones that talk about everything. But today, we're not celebrating them. Recently, we have a teacher, a young a teacher, Mr. I think Akim Badero, from St. Michael's School in Agriculture in Ogun State, who won the Cambridge Dedicated Teacher Award, beating 99 other countries and 11,000 entries. I can tell you, Nigerians did not know that happened. And we are busy giving national award to those who have stolen the country dry. We are busy giving national award to those who should not be part of us. And we are not celebrating the teacher who won such an award. This is time to celebrate those we are supposed to celebrate. And that is what I want. I want to see a national honor given to this teacher. I came by the from Ogun State. That is the 
celebration. We now have to change. We now have to listen to young Mr. Mejuru telling us our problem. It is time to do the right thing. Teachers, I thank you. We remain grateful for what you are doing. Do not be discouraged because people don't regard you. Know that what you are doing is noble. It is important for the society. And you are very important ourselves for the society. I know at times you feel unappreciated. But don't worry. We will appreciate you. We will make sure that things happen. I was visiting schools as governor, big thing. Because you mold the character. We can't have a society unless we have people with the right character. We can't have a society unless we have people with the right behavior. We can't have the people unless we have people with the right discipline and everything. Look at what the young girls have said here. Yes, we have life today by far and day. Because he had a basic education, which is very important. Yes, we are able to get other things that we enjoy today. Because people have basic education. And young Mr. Major, I will even tell you more. It is that basic education that made us a drive car today. Engineer Bayes was able to go through education. I was able to go through education and attended a polytechnic school and today we have a car and we can drive around. So with other discoveries, women today celebrate their Gucci design and everything because we have someone who had basic education and went to work in a Savoy hotel in the UK, Garcia Gucci. And saw that people were not using the leather bags, were not strong enough, and went back to his native Italy to do that because they had basic education. We are celebrating the world of telephone, world of mobile phone, the world of I ICT today, with, because of so many other young people that we educated. From Steve Jobs, somebody who was picked in a care home, but they had a basic education. St. Bill Gay, somebody was supposed to be a school dropout, but for the education, for the disciplines, they learned in the basic education. So, young people that are graduating, I thank you, I congratulate you. As you move on to the next stage, know that we want you to live in a different Nigeria. We want you to be part of Nigeria where people who have Japa today will come back. Because we want them to come back. And they will come back when you build a new Nigeria. They will be part of that asset. So congrats as you go on. Please know that only, the only certificate, the only capital, the only thing you need is good education, which will mold a good character, remain a good person, remain a disciplined person, remain truthful, always do the right things. It is easy to say that if you do the wrong thing, you get here. Yeah. It is easy to say that only bad people succeed in Nigeria. But please, do not be part of them. That is what we are trying to change. Remain with your classmates, because I can tell you, in the next Nigeria, you will not be a leader unless you went, you attended a school, unless you will know your classmates, unless you have good certificates. We want to change it. So people will say, I went to a pet center, and they will say, yes, it was in class with this person, this person, this person, and it will be celebrated. And you will bring your certificate, nobody will doubt it.
because you want the best. We want you to go to universities. And parents, thank you for sending your children to this school. Thank you for being there. It is not easy to educate children today. It is a difficult thing. Often a time, your choice between how to teach and how to pay even the little school fees is difficult. Especially in a difficult place now where nobody knows who is poor and who is rich. I was telling my people that we need to go and find how they roll for this 8,000 because we have names of people that will add them. Because even those that are paid by like teachers, they need that 8,000 to recommend because everybody's not poor in Nigeria. But I assure you, parents, your investment is not in vain. Investment in education is the most valuable investment you can do. It might look as if you're doing the wrong thing, but your children will grow to be great people, especially if they go to good school. Nigeria will be great. Nigeria will eventually become a country of destination, a country where people will want to go and live. I assure you that the sacrifices of all of you will not be in vain. Let us sacrifice today. We have no other country except this one. And only us can build it by our sacrifice. Always remember, we cannot join them in our business. We cannot join them in destroying it. There might be personal benefits for that. But always remember that the society we are used today will take his revenge on our children tomorrow. Thank you and God bless all of you.